Hello and welcome back to another Camel Sump Middle School Design Technology uh, screencast. Uh, this is uh, round two for the Boss Laser tutorial. Uh, round one, we covered sizing and saving and introducing text. And in this episode, we're going to assume that we remembered all of that and we're going to move on to importing images. We're going to look at speed and power settings for the laser output. And then we're going to finally look at uh, aligning and grouping images. So quite a bit to cover in this episode, so hang on tight. Okay, so here's my text from my previous tutorial. The words might be a little different, but I've inserted my text. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, import an image. Okay, so the first thing we need to think about is where's the image going to come from, and the second thing we need to think about is what type of images are going to be best. Okay, so for today's lesson, we're going to focus on one specific type of file um, from one place, and that place is the internet. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize Boss Laser software. I'm going to take up here and I'm going to shrink it down. So Boss Laser is going to be waiting for you down in the bottom uh, toolbar down here. Okay, and I'm going to open up a Chrome window. And the two things we need to think about when we're looking for an image is first the file type. And the file type we're going to be using today is a JPEG image. A .jpg would be the file extension. Boss Laser um, cooperates also with another file extension called a PNG. Um, PNGs work well when they do, um, but they can be a little temperamental with our software. So for today, for simplicity, we're going to be looking for higher resolution JPEG images. And in my case, I'm looking for a unicorn. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type unicorn. Oops, I'm going to spell it right. And then you'll notice that I've searched for this quite a few times before. I'm going to look for a unicorn silhouette. Now one thing that's critical to understand about the laser software is that it's a fairly analog operation, which means that the engraving uh, is either on or off. So if we try to have it do a picture, right, with varying shades of gray or even a color picture where there's a lot of contrast from one side to the other, the laser's not going to pick up on that. A silhouette image where it's either black or white is going to show up very crisp and the laser's going to understand that. So we need very crisp, clear black and white images. So I always include the word silhouette. Now, unicorn, tree, bell, snowflake, you know, it, all sorts of different things work, but we just need to be careful about what type of image. So I've typed in unicorn silhouette dot jpg. Okay, I'm going to click on images here to give myself my images. Now I like to do one more thing just to guarantee that I'm going to get a good file out of this. I like to come over to tools. Okay, and then size. Now this might be a part of the Google image search you've never seen before, but it's pretty great. So we can drop down the size menu, come over to larger than, I'm going to say larger than two uh, megapixels here. Okay, so that limits the uh, kind of the low end of quality I'm going to get, and I'm going to get some pretty decent quality photos out of this. Okay, so I'm going to come down here. I like the look of that one right there. It's certainly a unicorn. I'm going to left click on this. Okay, it's doing what I need it to do. So it's time to save this file and use it in Boss Laser. So I'm going to right click on this image. I'm going to come down to Save Image As. Okay, left click on Save Image As. Up comes this dialog box. First thing you need to do is on the left sidebar over here, make sure that Desktop is selected. Okay, and then under the file name, it's going to come with a file name if this works for you. Great, that works for me. I'm going to remember what that is. It says unicorn in it. If you want to change it to something else, feel free. Okay, I'm going to click save. Great. Now, if I minimize Chrome here, I'm going to see that my unicorn picture is waiting for me on the desktop. Okay, don't click on it, don't open it, just make sure it's there. Time to go back to Boss Laser. I'm going to open Boss Laser. The photo import button is right up here. It's a picture with an arrow pointing to it. If you hover over it, it's even going to tell you import. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, it's time to go shopping. So if this drop-down menu does not say desktop, drop it down and click on desktop. Fortunately for me, my unicorn is waiting for me right there. I'm going to click it. It's going to give me a preview. I'm going to click open here. Now, don't be alarmed if the picture you import appears to be massive. So right here, see these blue arrows? That's the corner of my project. My unicorn just kind of obliterated my project. That's fine. We can resize it just like we can resize text. Grab onto one of these corners. We're going to shrink it down. Now, incidentally, a big picture imported is a good thing. 
Okay. When we make pictures bigger, then we run the risk of pixelating them. If we make them smaller, the detail is only going to improve. Okay. So I'm going to drag this down into my box right here. Excellent. So now I've got a unicorn with some words below it. Let me introduce you to a new tool. Okay. I want my unicorn and my words aligned vertically with one another perfectly. Okay. So in other words, I don't want it over here. I don't want it over here. I want it right in the middle and I don't want to, I, I want to leave the guesswork out of it. So there's a tool for that. Okay. So I'm going to use my mouse and I'm going to select both of these objects right here. Okay. So you'll see a big box appears around all of them. I can come up here, look at these tools and see these flags. Okay. So these flags represent a justification, an alignment tool. So if you see a flag splitting a diamond in half, that means center justify it. You see that little jog it just did down there. If I click on this one, it's going to offset it to the left. Click on this one, it's going to offset it to the right, and so on and so forth. So I want it in the middle. Okay, so that's great. My image isn't centered in my cutting board, though. These two are aligned vertically with one another. That's great, but they're not centered in the cutting board. Okay, so let's take a look at how to do that. If I try to move either one of these independently, I'm going to lose my center justification. Right? So I need to somehow get these two things in agreement with one another so I can move them together as a group. So let's do this. Draw another big box around it. And come up here and use these colorful tools. All right? This one's called group. And this one's called ungroup. Now these are benchmark graphic design terms right here. Group and ungroup are used in almost every graphic design program you're ever going to see, including CAD software. So get used to hearing these terms. Now I'm going to group these. Now using my arrow keys on the keyboard, you can see that this is one unit, which is really helpful. Okay, I can also use my center in the screen button. And there we are, perfectly centered in the screen. Okay, a uh, word of caution with images and text, we're going to need to ungroup this before we look at a preview. Okay, so I'm going to ungroup it. I'm going to check out a preview and there it is. Okay, my engraved unicorn but you notice something about these letters down here? These letters are actually being cut, not engraved. That's what the clean line around the perimeter indicates. The unicorn is being completely filled in, which is nice. So let's take a look at what's happening there. If I click on this unicorn, it's indicated as this line right here. And this is my laser output center over here. This tells me what is going to happen to each piece of my document as the laser interprets it. Okay, so the image is this BMP, which is called a bitmap. Okay, and it's labeled as a scan. Scan means engrave. Okay, let's look at this one right here though. Here's my text. You notice my text is black. This is a solid black bar right here, and it's labeled as a cut. <clears throat> Watch this. Draw a big box around your text. Come down here and color it blue. Now look what happened up here. Blue is known by Boss Laser as a scanning color. So you got to think about things in terms of layers. Unicorn's one layer, text is another layer, and they each behave their own way based on the uh, parameters we've assigned them. So now if I come back up to my preview, there we are, that looks better. So I've got my scanned unicorn and my scanned text. Excellent. Now one last thing I want to cover before I let you go. Speed and power. So we've talked in person over at the laser machine about what speed and power actually mean. I'm going to help you um, figure out how to adjust them on the Boss Laser software. Okay. So these are clickable items here. Okay. What we want to see for engraving is a speed of 300 millimeters per second and a power of 30. Now, anywhere between 10 and 35 is going to be okay, but the examples I've shown you are 30, okay? If you would like your engraving more subtle, back down to, say, a power of 20. If you'd like a little bit more punch to it, maybe boost up to 35, but um, these all need to be the same number, and I would recommend 300 and a speed of 30, and you want to double check that both of these have that assignment. Here's my power of 30. And, oh, I caught it right here, speed of 100. That should be a speed of 300. So we're going to click OK there. This all looks good. I'm going to come back up. I'm going to look at my preview again. 
There's my preview. Everything looks good. I'm ready to output this file to the laser. And that is going to do it for this episode.